Okay, I'm going to show you how to change the backlight color of your Quenchang UVK5. When you buy these, they come with a white background, and I find it so bright that it's difficult for me to see because of the glare with contact lenses or glasses. Man, are they bright. And it's not just me. When they, when they issued the UVK6, they corrected that by putting an orange filter in to take down some of that intensity. So I know I'm not the only one with this issue. Now we can change this to any color we want, but I'm just going to show you this one. This one's got a background of pink. This one uh, is my wife's. She wanted a pink one, and it really does work well because it takes the edge off of the glare, and you can still see everything great. Nice and crisp, crystal clear there. Uh, there's lots of colors we can do, so I'm going to show you how this works. What you're going to need is this. So these are uh, color filter gels, or cells, depending on who you talk to. I got these on Amazon for $8. And these are the things you would use for theater lighting or photography for color correction. So they call them color correcting gels or color correcting cells. I got them all for about $8, more than I'll ever need. So here's colors we're going to mess with today. Um, the only thing you're going to need for this mod are the cells and that. That is it. That's all this is going to take, and you can do this in 30 seconds. So once you've got these cut out. Now, when you start with a cell, you're going to cut down to about 26 by 36 millimeter is about what this should be. So you might want to start with those measurements and then sort of go from there. None of these are symmetrical. I, I did these by hand. I think the blue one came out the best, but 26 by 36 millimeter is approximately what you need. Now, here's an, an example of another one I did, and this one's got the bright red. Now, oh, sorry, that's the wrong one. This one's got the bright red. All right, and so you can see that that would be great for night vision because, again, the glare is so intense on these things that it could be a problem for night vision uh, if you're trying to use that white screen. So the red definitely helps to filter that out. Lots of color options. So it's, I'm going to go back to the blue, which I like better. I can see it easier. All right, the quenching is really easy to take apart, which I find just to be spectacular because it would be doing this mod on like a Bofung would just be too much. It wouldn't be worth it. Uh, but it's so easy to do with this. The only tool you need is this. So we're going to pop this open with an electronic picker tool. And it popped open. Okay. And we're going to slide this out very gently. Okay, just kind of slide that along there. Now I already lost the little, there's a little black piece here that might fall out. And I, it's somewhere. But I've, I've tried to do this mod a few times and I forgot to put it back in. So there's a little black piece that might fall out. It just goes back in. Don't worry. So once you get that apart, you're just going to separate your two halves, and you can see that the red filter is in. Let's get rid of that red filter. And these, these are going to come out. I'm going to place the blue filter, which is pretty close to what I want. I already cut it out. fits pretty well. The blue filter's in, and you put this back together. You want to kind of keep it at a nice angle so that everything fits through the holes nicely. And then you're going to pop this, and that's done. And the mod is complete. So... We put it back together, slap the antenna on there, and let's see what we've got now. We've got a nice blue screen, and this is my favorite. Now, I didn't align that too well. You can see at the bottom, there's a little bit of white in there, so I should have done a better job lining that up. I know this does fit perfectly because um, I've had it in before, but I think this is a good opportunity to, to show. I don't know how well that's going to come up, but you can see that the white is coming through at the bottom because I didn't line it up correctly. That's the difference in brightness. They're super bright. And so the blue is just, it helps take down that brightness without obscuring my view of anything. So the light colors tend to work. And you can see, if you're not careful, you might clip. I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but I sort of clipped this in the last install when I put the red in. I didn't line it up with the window correctly. So you got to be careful about that. About 26 by 36 millimeters. So that's it. Um, that is all it takes to modify the backlight of your uh, UV K5 to whatever color you want. Um, I think it's pretty cool, and it costs virtually nothing. Uh, when you get these gels, uh, they come with protective front and backs, and so you can cut it out and get it all measured up and lined up, and then you can peel the protective layering off so that it's not scratched before you put it in. Um, and I say that because if you didn't know that, you might think that these are really crappy colors when you get them. Um, I don't know if you can make that out, but there's a protective coat, so front and back. So after you cut them out, remove the protective coat, and uh, you're good to go, scratch-free. I think it's pretty cool uh, that you can make you know that adjustment that quickly. 
Um, why would you do it? Again, backlighting is too bright. Um, a lot of people have asked me why these radios are always set to mirrors, and there's no real answer for that. I use these just for basically these videos and experimentation, and I try to keep them at low power. Um, sometimes that gets overridden by what I'm doing. But if I hit transmit, well, no matter what I'm doing, it's legal on mirrors, as long as these are at, at low power. Um, and so they're just perpetually there. But of course, this applies to any quenching. And, it's just that people have asked and said, why is everything always set to mirrors if you're a general class amateur operator? Well, because it is. That's what these radios are set to. So if there's anything you'd like to uh, reach out and discuss, I can be reached at kb3hxa at gmail. Leaving comments is always great, but they'll probably get lost. So if there's something you want to discuss, feel free to reach out. Um, at this point, I want to give you the, the typical please like and subscribe, which I hate saying, but here's the deal. Last week we had 500 subscribers, and this week we're pushing 700. And if I can get the channel monetized, then I can buy more cool stuff like this. You know, monetiz monetization doesn't make much money, but uh, you know, a couple bucks every month helps me to do things like little projects like this to show, share with you guys. So um, you know, liking and subscribing and sharing the videos helps. Um, everybody's got a quenching. This is useful for anybody. So um, please do that. And again, um, I hope this works for you. Great little mod, cheap, easy, 7.3.